to ask you of another kind of big debate here, another concern for parents and I think educators. Um, really, this um, you know idea. There's so so much of the idea that you know learning should be fun, um, that you know learning should be entertainment. Um, and to what extent do you think you know the lines between education and entertainment are getting blurred today? Um, and what do you think about that? Is that a problem? Is that a positive? Um, shouldn't learning be fun? Uh, ideally, I'd love it to be fun, but I don't <laughs> think that should be the goal. Um, the goal is engagement. And I think engagement has become confused mm. with entertainment. Mm. We've tried, we've, we have also been somewhat co-opted by the entertainment <laughs> world, not even just in Los Angeles, everywhere. <laughs> yes. Across um, the world, you know, I speak with families across absolutely. the world, and it's honestly, um, you know, that, that's not, the trend. It's not just theatrical entertainment. It's also mm -hmm. the, the entertainment of sports, the entertainment of all kinds of different kinds of entertainment. Um, and what we really need to think about instead of fun is engagement. What is it that we can do with our educational methodologies and systems that will support that because if kids are engaged they're going to be having fun um maybe not the kind of fun they have playing a video game um but the kind yes. of fun they feel when they're great gaining in confidence and competence mm. that's a good feeling for anybody and that will be interpreted in the long run, that becomes what is satisfying and rewarding. And that comes pretty close to being fun. You know, as, uh, as we wrap up, I wanted to ask if there's anything else you would like to tell parents, any sort of um, piece of advice, final advice that you think uh, you'd like to share with them? What I, what I feel when you ask that question mm. is wanting to have some way to have parents be able to both participate in and enjoy the growth of their children. Yes, it's a job to be a parent. It is a hard job. Mm. But I, I think that the best way for our children to end up being both successful and happy adults is success meaning whatever it means to them, to, to their parents, <laughs> um, is to have that experience also be warm and loving and communicative and knowing. And that gets it gets lost so easily sometimes because it's also hard when you're trying to be all of the things that a parent needs to be for their children. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, it's the most difficult job. I think most people will agree being a parent is the most difficult job you can undertake. So I wanted to thank you so much, so much for your time. And today, this was a wonderful discussion. I think there's so many gold nuggets here. I would recommend parents just watch and rewatch this because <laughs> um, they'll get so, um, I think many words of wisdom to how to really think about supporting their child and having that partnership with their child that we discussed to help their child, uh, you know, set them up for the, the best, uh, you know, the best opportunities um, and the possibilities in life. So again, I wanted to thank you so much and I hope we'll chat again soon. I hope so too, thank you. And I really appreciate your leadership in moving in this new direction and trying to suss out all of these different pieces uh, that need to be discerned as we move forward. And I am very, very interested in, and happy to see that happening. So oh, thanks. thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. Okay, well, we'll see you next time then. All right. All right. Bye -bye.
Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.